Happy Labor Day, guys. We're getting on today to show you. It's our weekly DIY project um, live. So I'm gonna flip the camera and show you. I'm calling this thing a planter, but I think it's a planter. My mom had this in her back porch and I asked her if I could borrow it to show her, to show this project because we've made lights out of so many different things and it's such an easy way to upcycle something and then get a, a unique light. We're doing this in our back porch because it's been raining for days and days and it's too wet outside and so hopefully the internet works. It might be a little better in here and it's just a small, small project. So first of all, this was white when I picked it up at my mom's. It was kind of rusty and it's still, still telling me low connection. When you guys come in, if you can hear me, just let me know. Let me know where you're coming in from and then I'm just going to continue. Anyway, so we just... We spray painted it black. I wanted it to be black. And then Matt just drilled a hole in the bottom of it just with a with a drill and a kind of a larger bit. So he just drilled through the bottom of that. And then we are going to now, what's that? The bit. Oh, it needs to be the size of this? Yeah. Well, let's, we'll get there okay. once we get there. One thing Matt wanted me to mention, which I think is a great tip, is any time... Um, we are at a yard sale and we see these lights. Um, anything with a light top or a lamp or this was a freebie at a yard sale, we pick it up because he uses the pieces for, hello Julie, for for the lights when we make them. So, but we didn't use it for this one because we had something else that we got. So for this actual one. We took that off the lamp. We did take this off a lamp. This is actually off of a lamp, and this is the one. This bulb is the perfect size. It's just little, so uh, I thought it would be perfect for this one. So this is what we're gonna use for for this. Is that a planter, you guys? What is this thing? It's a planter or a, okay. Go ahead and tell them what you're doing. Uh, first, there's a little screw in there that holds it tight. So we just gotta loosen it. There's like a little washer. And we take this. Thing. Are you screw, what? You're taking okay. screw that out. Okay. So that is disconnected. Okay. Alright. Um, with this then we take like a little screwdriver and we have to pop the bottom off. So then the bottom comes off. Okay. Oops, I forgot to take light bulb out. I know, don't break it. That's like the perfect size. <laughs> When okay, the we, sleeve comes out, we just disconnect the wires. Don't take the nuts, the, the screws all the way out. Just, just loosen them just, to, whoops. so you can get the wire out. Yep. Okay. Okay. So this will help you thread it through that hole you just made. Right? It makes it smaller. No, it loosens them up so you can take them out. Right, to go through the bottom. Okay. Yeah. And you guys, this does stand like this, but I liked it. We're doing it this way for two reasons. I Can you lift that, Matt, and upside down? That's why you have a box there for all the mess. I liked it this way, and then it also gives, obviously, it's a better spot up there for all the stuff he's going to do. So it's going to hang like that in the end. Okay, I forgot to mention that. Go ahead. Did you have to use a special bit for this because it's metal or was it thin no, enough? It was thin enough. It's thin enough metal so we didn't have to use a special bit. I always put a board underneath it so help put pressure on it. He put a board right underneath where he was um, screwing it so then there was pressure from the other end. Are you ready? Okay. Mm -hmm. So what did you just do? You just took that off? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm actually going to... No, just gonna use okay. Yeah. Sorry, it's kind of focusing weird. Okay, now you're just gonna stick that. Through that. And then we can tighten that in the end. Okay. Alright. And give yourself plenty of slack because you can pull it. 
this will be a hanging lamp, obviously. So now you're just kind of putting it all back together. Yep. Just what you took off, okay. What are you doing now? I'm going to make so I have plenty of room. So he just wants to put that up further into the light. And now you're just screwing that on. Yep. It goes all the way up into the... Well, it'll go until you tighten it. Then we can Oops. Tighten it if we want. And just tightening those little screws. You guys, DIY lights like this are so simple. You can find the light kits, you know, at Menards or Lowe's or Home Depot. But we always, how much are they for a light kit? Oh, like four to five bucks. Around there. But we always have light kits or old lamps or things that we've picked up. So then we take them apart and use the pieces. So we have had so many different lights hung in our house just by doing the same thing so and sometimes lights and hanging lights they can be so expensive it's very important that you do it so it's clockwise what are we doing clockwise well if you put this on clockwise because you have to tighten it and if you tighten it if you put it on counterclockwise it will loosen it oh good tip yeah. I just come up the with the, I saw this in my mom's back porch. She wasn't using it, so I asked her if I could turn it into a light. And she said, yeah. So I just come up with that part, and then I say, Matt, can you turn this into a light? And then he, he figures out all the, the other parts. Okay, it just takes, it looks like it's taken him a bit to, what, bend those wires? Yeah, I just picky about it. Okay, I guess he's just picky about it. And again, I will share this whole project. I will put it all on the blog. I did take a before photo of this, but I wanted to spray paint it, obviously, to so we could do the project here live. And then, um, so I, I will share the before photo of what it looked like before we painted it and before we put the hole in it. Sorry guys, this tedious little stuff. I thought we thought this would be a quicker project because we had to work inside the house because of the rain. But it's these littler projects that seem to take longer. I did, just as he's doing that, I did paint the bench that we showed you guys last time. So I will get final photos of that. I painted it green first, then I put another color on top and then sanded it so the green sh came through. Okay. I'm just pulling the tight, cord tight. Okay. He's just pulling it then he, so he can get it in there. And it just, this one just snaps back on. Oh, it just snaps back on. That's nice. Yeah. Of course, they'll all be different, but... And then you come back up. Oh. Tighten this back. And then that's what'll hold it on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Super simple. Is that it? Yeah. What do you oops? Just tightening it. He's just tightening it right now. Okay. And I like you can spray paint those. Matt said I could spray paint it black, but I kind of liked the, it's not really gold, it's not really brass, it just. I'll hold it over that chair and then we can. Whoops. And there we go, you guys, that, a light right there. Do you want to plug it in? Or should we do this not live? <laughs> That's always the question. Oh, and it works. Yes. <laughs> How this would be really cute too on a like a screened-in porch or whatever, but 
that's cute turned out great okay guys that was just an easy project for today and I'll try to think of something for next week but thanks for watching